I don't know if we're on. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Uh, I don't know if we're on, but we should be. Uh, well, my Minecraft is lagging, so it probably means. Hello, Internet. Sorry for not being there. Um, he being here for in a millennium because I've been going through some family troubles. But right here, I... Oh, Right here I have something, um, well, actually a new computer that I've made called the XX Titan. And let me, let me just look up so I can actually move. Maybe. Okay, there we go. Um, this is a new computer called the XX, well, actually this isn't very new, but now I'm able to show you it. This is a computer I made recently called the XX Titan. I call it that because it sounds cool. It's arbitrary. There's no real reason to be calling it, but really. As you can see, it's mostly made out of end stone. I don't know why. I just built this out of arbitrary materials. And as you can see, there's colorful parts, the program memory, blah, blah, blah. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay. So, first of all, I guess I'll tell you the functions about the computer. Um... So the functions, the math functions, and the logic functions of the ALU, of the ALU, okay, basically, um, is add, subtract, multiply, divide, no, no and, but there's or, x or not, yes. And those are all the functions of the ALU, and I thought that I did a pretty good job doing it, but, I mean, it's a little big, as you can see, I could have made this way smaller. I know this, but at my, I don't have enough redstone knowledge to make a division and multiplication circuit really small. Other than that, um, I really do like this computer. Um, it's got multiple lines of program memory. In fact, it's got a sets of program memory, and it allows you to actually select what program you want to use. Right here is the go to system. Um, you know, f to go to which line, and ugh. Lag. Sorry. Um, let me just go up here. Yeah, it's really nice to have lag. Actually, you know, I'm playing in fancy, so that's probably why it's being a little laggy. But regardless, um, let me just see if I can fly up, please. Eh. Okay. Dun -dun -dun. Okay, there we go. Um, here's the decoder for it. The the decoder for it. Uh, you see, that just helps determine. Actually, does determine what line we go to. And here's all the functions of the program memory. So we got ROM, just the basic user inputs. We got RAM, write or load, ALU, and this these signs will actually tell you all the functions. And I yes, I was right. We do have all those functions. Uh, miscellaneous, which is just stuff that I didn't really put into a specific category. General indicator, out the expansion slot, and then random number generator. Just an automatic shutdown command and a disable mathematical branching command. This is not a very advanced computer, but it is way more advanced than my 3 bit one. I can give it that. So, right here is the input board, and right here is the mathematical branching ROM, which should go over in a minute. Right here is the, so, oh, okay, one minute, I'm going to do something here. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Sorry. Now it's going to take forever to load. Okay, there we go. No, 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 no. All right, how lovely. All right. Now, let me just switch this. Let's just go to... Tiny, hopefully that'll recover some rent. Okay, oh, yeah. Okay, a little bit better. Okay, so both switches down for demo. Guessing game. And the guessing game actually uses the random number generator and the XOR function. And, okay. Gotta fix this. In fact, I'm gonna go on too fast because that's gonna make things a lot easier. Okay. No, 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 no. I know, this is irritating. Just go to normal. Okay. Sorry. All right, now I can see it. Right here. Okay. So here's the program selection switches, which I use switch with program. And since it's in binary, you know, um, this is program zero, program one, 
program two and program three. Yep, three. And right here are the selections that you wanna that you would want to do if you want to. Um, here's the name. Um, so we have mathematical branch, which you know uh, branch is based on mathematical calculation and outputs with the ALU. Branch just basically make the um, it basically up is A, down is B, or true or false and true if you want to do the Boolean thing. And then right here is the clear memory on shutdown, which when the computer powers off, or when the low program uh, switch is off, it will clear the memory. And this means it will clear the ALU registers and the RAM. Right here is debug mode. And what debug mode allows you to do is it allows you to go into a program and debug it pretty much. And you can go on, and here's, a, here's two functions. We have next command and go to line zero, just basically for basic debugging features. Right here is the binary output, like you've seen in my 3-bit computer. And you see, this is an 8-bit computer, so there's eight outputs. Here's the numbers representing them, by the way. Then here are some special outputs. We got 0 0.5, 0 0.25, and negative, indicating that it's negative. Um, that is a negative number. And, you know, these two are just because of division, and this is if you subtract less than zero. Right here is kind of the, I don't know, I guess my biggest accomplishment in this, okay, uh, well, in an output sense, I guess, is the number display. Um, I do really, I wish I had a GPU for this, but I kind of designed this to not have a GPU, so... It's not going to really have a GPU anytime soon. But you know, when I make a new computer with a hopefully better ALU and all that, I'll be able to do all that. So this is able to display, you know, 8-bit numbers, which is three digits and decimal. And you got the right there. goes to the negative sign. At, uh, turns out the negative sign. So I'm going to actually demonstrate you a program. And just to make sure that this is still the right program. And by the way, um, okay, that is. Um, it's a guessing game. And it's kind of impossible. Well, I mean, it's possible, but it's really hard to guess it because, um, be uh, sorry, because, you know, it's 8-bit numbers, so there's a 1 in 129 chance? No, 1 in 127 I don't one one in hundred and twenty eight chance. I don't care if I got that wrong, it's close enough of getting the number right. So um so yeah, reads from ROM one, so let's do uh six, which is probably not gonna be right, but it's gonna get really laggy, so bear with me. Because it's using the random number. Did it really do that? Okay. Um bear with me here, it's gonna get really laggy. So it's pro it might actually freeze, yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh wait, that was quicker than I thought. Hopefully that wasn't too fast. Uh okay, okay, there we go. Alright, it's actually slower than I thought. Okay, it's just a lag, it makes everything look like it's all doing different things at once. And if I lose, it'll power off. Oh no! Is it going in a loop? Ugh. Yeah, I think it's going in a loop. Sorry. It's going in a loop. Let me just mess with this. Change it to. Okay. Oh no! Oh. This is embarrassing. One minute. I don't know what it did. Okay, you know what? Never mind. Never mind. I'll show you subtraction program instead because this thing is ri ridiculous. Um, okay. Ugh, that's why. That's the thing I don't like about this design. It's that it loops. It loves to loop for some freaking reason. So let me turn this off. Please turn off at least. Don't be weird on me. All right, there we go. Okay. All right. Well, I'll just show you. A uh, subtraction program.
which I believe is program two. Program two, come on. All right, there we go. <laughs> Jeez. All right. So we can do, okay, A minus B. Okay, so we're going to do 6 minus 2, which will be 4 if you have a brain, at least a good brain. You got a brain of rats, it's going to be kind of hard to, uh, never mind. All right, let's see. So now it's going to do the f function, hopefully. If not, then that's going to be unfortunate. All right. Okay, there we go. Yay, it actually didn't betray me. Um, for some reason, when I'm recording, uh, the the number display is a little bit weird, so just bear with me with that. See, but it's four. Yeah, it's four. Six minus two is four. And just for fun, I'm going to demonstrate you a negative number. Negative... <laughs> See, when you're recording, the client is so crazy that sometimes when you just hit the switch, it's going to, like, go up and down really fast. It's really irritating. All right. So if we do 4 minus not, uh, 10, 6 minus 10, there we go, 6 minus 10, which would be negative 4, I think so, yeah, negative 4. If I'm wrong, then I'm sorry. Why didn't that clear? Oh, oh well. I'm gonna have to take a look at the screen because it's acting funky lately. But in, other than that, all right. Sorry, all of that lag is doing some processing. Doop -a -doop -a -doop. Negative. No, that actually should just be negative four. Yeah, there we go. Another negative side pops up. So negative four. The logic here is simple, but. I mean, actually, no, it's not that simple, but, I mean, if you're smart enough, you can make this at home. Other than that, that's basically the XX Titan, and just to give you some more technical information before I go, this is basically um, a Von Neumann machine? Yeah, it's probably a Von Neumann machine. Ugh, yeah. And it's also 8-bit, so it's got 8-bit RAM bus and ROM bus. It's got 8-bit, 4-bit uh, multiplication, actually, and 3-bit division. I don't really know why I did that, but I was kind of too lazy to make a big division. Cause, uh, um, division is a little bit terrible, by the way. For um, I, I, If you do, like, 3 divided by 3, it's, like, 4, I think. But, you know, it's supposed to be 1. So that's kind of the thing that sucks about this design is that it's kind of big and it's kind of it's kind of a funky design. It's a little bit picky choosy. Um, other than that, I do like this design. Um, by the way, it has two bytes of memory. Uh, just throwing that out. And also, there's this one thing I didn't cover, which was the mathematical branching ROM. The mathematical <coughs> branching ROM is basically what number you want to branch on um, if it is true. So if I cannot be an idiot, let me just go up. So here's the, it, it's, I don't know why I build it like this. It probably could be a lot similar, simpler, but here it is. Here's the thing right here, and it just all does it just dictates if like for example I actually put in one so if we put in one uh actually should better go up here we put in one so one is true so we want so if one is true and it's true it's kinda like it's kinda like a weird AND gate system. So it's true so it's uh, and the inverter is gonna say it's true. So yeah. And here's the Here's some memory, which is just some old, you know, good old D flip flops, and you know, nothing special. I, I think I really got to improve on my memory because I've just been using basic memory cells. But other than that, um, it's the time is getting a little long, so I'm gonna go. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I hope I might be able to provide a download. If not, then I'm very sorry. So.